you know that we've uh, we've got uh, severe damage also in Bologna, and in it's not just Mayflower and Bologna. We've got spots in between. We've got rural areas in between. We don't need to forget about those people as well. Uh, so uh, it's an ongoing process, and uh, all the resources uh, that uh, need to be dispatched will be dispatched, and if more are needed, uh, they will be dispatched. The we have been requested and we are providing security into areas so people who don't need to be in the area won't go. However, everybody who does have a reason to be in the area should be let in. <laughs> We've obviously got a lot of experience with tornadoes, and any tornado is bad, particularly if it's a direct hit on something. But just looking at the damage, this may be one of the strongest that we've seen. And preliminarily, we haven't done any records check, but it looks like this is the largest loss of life that we've seen in one tornado incident since I've been governor. Uh, we need to verify that and, and go back and, and look, but at least our preliminary observations suggest that. Uh, all the agencies, all the city and county officials, all the uh, public, public official volunteers from other places have been augmented to a huge degree by just plain old Arkansas citizens that want to volunteer and want to help. Uh, I've seen them uh, load up their pickups and throw their chainsaws in the back and just come and start working, cutting trees uh, apart that have blocked a roadway. And then obviously we've got all the utility crews uh, and the uh, telecommunications folks.